Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Elizabeth with True To It Connections. You're here at the Spiritual View, and thank you so much. If you're new, subscribe. There's seven on the team. Daily content. We go live twice a week, uh, Mondays at 10 a.m., Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Free readings. You've got astrology, numerology, tarot, oracle, channeled messages, Akashic records, a lot. And then we have a monthly event. It's coming up September 20th. This will be about eclipse season. And I want to talk about that. Time is ticking so fast. We're shifting. There is no going back. We can talk about 9-11. We can analyze it. The truth lies, whatever. But we're not going back to any of that. And it reminds me of coming to the spiritual view. Our first monthly episode, part of it featured um, treasure mapping, which is really like a vision board. If you weren't here, go back and check it out. Episode one. But there's time to still woo, to still work on achieving your goals, to adjust your vision board, your treasure map. What's working? What's not? How do I get to my goals? Because we all want to get there. We all want to manifest abundance and love, all these things. And with manifestation takes action. So we have to keep moving forward. And I know you guys can do it and we can adjust and we can adapt, but I want to see for the collective, what is coming in terms of abundance, our goals, are we going to hit them? How do we adjust and what's ahead? So let's get into the reading, hit that like, and please stay to the end. That really, really helps all of us here on the team. Let's go. Okay. Hey, here. Wow. All right. Here we go. You guys, I'm using the lunar nomad Oracle deck to dive into our goals. And I like what I see. All right, here we go. Clover two. You know, this is all about opportunities coming in. Good luck messages. I want you to just really think about new beginnings and when you see it and you know it and you feel it, quick action. As I mentioned in the intro, TikTok, we got it, we gotta keep moving forward. And um two is about being very intuitive, old souls. I know you're gonna know it when you feel it. Then funny what else came out? Two, we go to one. The new beginnings, and it's a camel. It's the rider. First deck, I mean, first card in this deck. This is about, oh my gosh, more messages and news coming in, more opportunity. I want you to ask yourself when you see this card, what, what are you doing in your life right now? That I don't mean to point that, um, like I said, that we need to adjust. What messages are you telling yourself so you can be positive and move forward? What am I delivering in my life right now? Inwardly and outwardly, this camel delivers messages, and I want you to be on the lookout for messages coming in because look at both of these cards. Opportunity is going to come knocking to one, and then the letter also fell out, flew out, really. Oh, there's so many symbols on this. We could talk all day. But again, this is truly about messages coming in. If you're waiting for a written document, um, an invitation, anything like that, be on the lookout. Um, it is also a nine. So we have two, one, nine. I need to look that up. That's going to be important. Nines are ends of cycles and new beginnings. So it's also about being 
uh, able to adjust through that ending into the new beginning, the adaptability, and I need you guys to move quickly. So we all can achieve these goals and um, this higher consciousness is going to help us all. Let me see what 219 means. I have no idea. I have a book here, Angel Numbers. This is by Mystic Michaela, I believe, and it was given to me by Angie O here on the team. So 219, you guys, let's see what this, the way the cards came out. Oh, I can't make this up. Refocus. Look closer at your career goals. The time to solidify exactly what you want to do in your career is now. Quick action. If it's to stay where you are, double down on professional development. Oh my God, that reminds me um, that these cards that I, I mentioned, I want you to remember to push past your fear. Um, let your truth out. It's the, the this letter about re written communication. Not only will you, you may receive written communication, but you may want to deliver it. There may be things you need to get off your chest. And the world a lot of times tells us not to do that, but it, it is okay. This, these cards say it is time. The angel message here is time to communicate what you need career-wise, goal-wise. And um, also, if it's to switch things up, get serious about the job search. Your angel's calling you to take decisive action today. Two, one, nine. All right, you guys, really good opportunities come in. Get stuff off your chest. Let it go onward and upward. Now I'm going to go for Light Sears Tarot because I think that's what's called, right? And there's an important download I'm getting right now about all of this that we're constantly broadcasting messages consciously and, and unconsciously. And these angel messages remind me to tell you that affirmations are powerful. They're powerful intentions that deliver messages to your higher self, to the world, and to the universe. So stay focused, keep positive affirmations in your life, and let's see how the goals are going. Hierophant. All right, we are ascending fast. You need to get on the train, just adapt to the changes. We are not going back. And this is a reminder, stay true to your moral higher self and your soul contracts. Everything's going to be okay. The sun, focusing more on yourself and what you need. Certainly, we've got a lot of love for those around us, but we've got to stay focused on these goals right now. Underneath Queen of Pentacles, we're going to stay leading, balanced, using that Merkaba as a manifestation tool. Yes, yes, yes. Above it, look at that. That is putting the action in in this eight year, eight of wands. Also, messages coming in fast, fast and hard. Look at your vision board, look at your treasure maps, think about your goals, think about what you manifest, make it happen. In the recent past, you've let these changes get to you, big time. You're worried, you're anxious, uh, some of you may have gone through some significant loss. And on 9-11, I feel it. And I send out a lot of love. And I see it. I want you to know you're divinely guided and protected. The souls are here. 
is your mind know that you're protected and what's ahead, what is coming ahead. Six of Cups. A bit of a balance of your emotions, a bit, but you're still reflecting backwards. I'm telling you, you guys, we cannot, uh, we can't go back. So I need you to release that. Stay grounded. Stay the Queen of Pentacles. Gender fluid, everyone. Gender fluid. Um, for some of you, uh, this can be about second opportunities in life and about connection, reconnection with children. And there's nothing more abundant than family and that ace of swords. This is the energy of you, of the collective. We want new beginnings. We want the truth. We want clarity. And you're getting it. All right. Also, the energy around you, this. Five of Wands, a lot of change, a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, a lot of conflict, personally and collectively. It's also about, though, um, people who are competitive in a good way and a bad way. People who are jealous, it's never really good. But the energy you're giving off is I am in my truth and I am going to speak my truth. I'm going to deliver the truth and I'm going to receive the messages. It causes other people uh, to be upset. Or maybe it's just the energy of the world around us and you're, you're just rising above it. You see the clarity, you know to, how to get to your goals. And that's what we want to know. So in hopes and fears, what is about our goals? Shining the light in the darkness at the end of this cycle, knowing it's hard. But how hard is it really? How hard is it really? She's already got what she needs. That's the key to abundance. You already have really what you need. Is it wrong to ask for more? No. Is it wrong to want these special things and to leave a legacy in your life? No. Is it that hard? No. She's got the tool in her hand. She's shining the way. Either way she goes, the sun is coming up. She is not blocked. Look at that silly little fence. Step over it. Her legs are long as that wand. Legs for days, girl. Legs for days. Legs for days. Step over. Do adjust. Step over. Don't squash. Outcome. For some of you, love. A lot of you, love. Other of you, a balanced old soul that you are. That twin flame energy in you. But a lot of love. So that's amazing. I'm going to clarify now. The two of cups. A lot of truth and love in this reading, you guys. So I empower you to give and uh Give and receive messages, Nine of Cups. For those of you who want to manifest love as part of your goal as we move from September through eclipse season and all the craziness, you have messages of love coming in. And remember, everybody, at the underneath all of this is the Queen of Pentacles. We're getting there. High Priestess, trust yourself. Do the positive affirmations. Those intentions are powerful and they will help all of us get to the goals. One more. Ten of cups. I mean, goodness. Goodness gracious. That's like, yes, endings and beginnings. But, you know, you stay balanced and adapt like we said in the beginning Thank you, spirit guides, for giving us this collective message because it's really super positive. We are going to adapt and reach our goals. We're going to 
make those treasure maps blossom at the end of the year. And so we can get together again here at the Spiritual View and make a new one. And I can't wait. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I can't wait to see you again next week and uh, catch us live for free readings. Peace.